People were out observing the aurora and they started noticing something that was overhead as well when they were seeing the aurora far to the northern regions. It was unlike most aurora. We talked to the scientists, we didn't know what it was. And together, they said, we'll keep taking observations and we'll call it Steve in the meantime. Steve is mostly a very narrow purple arc and sometimes it has these little green features that go along with it as well that are kind of like waving fingers or a picket fence. That means that there's plasma physics happening up there to cause that light and to make these little discrete features that we don't understand yet. We now have some satellite observations from the ESA satellite called SWARM that show uh, that Steve optically is associated with a very strong flow um, in the particles in the ionosphere, the upper level of our atmosphere. Steve is important for a number of reasons. Um, it's really exciting that uh, people armed with cameras all over the globe can capture something that we didn't fully understand and shed new light on that. It's also really exciting that this happens further to the south where there are, more, there are more people, so it might be a kind of aurora that more people can see than the usual kind. We're now able to look up at the sky and see things about the aurora and this sub-auroral region that we never understood before, and then we can correlate that with our traditional observations and lead to greater understanding.